Hi friends and welcome back to Max Electronics, the first video of 2024. Uh, in today's video I'm gonna go into a bit of a different territory, more of a big life territory, uh, but uh, the thing is I saw this in the shop, it was discounted to three dollars, Australian dollars, so it would be probably two US dollars, uh, which is very cheap, so you get two bulbs um, in a packet but what got me is that they're rechargeable so they pretty much a UPS type of a bulb they can last uh, it's a lithium battery well I don't know if it is last up to three hours on emergency mode uh, it's got three different um, brightness uh, dim levels it's a warm white there are uh, cold whites as well I bought the whole bunch because you know three dollars for the bulbs so we're gonna explore what's inside of them uh, let's open it up. They come with the little sockets, so they can be used as a standalone. It doesn't have to be screwed into your socket, so when you do screw it into your socket, it will work uh, as a normal light bulb, 240. If the power fails, you can use your switch and you can still turn them on. I will explain how in a second. Uh, but if you don't have a switch or you know, if you want to have it portable or take it with you for camping, you can simply, there is two of them, you can simply screw that on. And there is a button that you can press and it lights up quite brightly if you turn it off and on it's at different levels and that's the dimmest one and back to the bright one uh, now we're going to plug it into the power point and uh, see what they actually output as a 240 so I've got a socket here it is live already there we go it's consuming Six, uh, 6.5 watts, exactly, uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.04 amps, so 40 milliamps, and it's at 237 volts. Now, if I turn it off, it should, uh, this is my testing module, so it's got 12 volts, it's got a power supply inside for the 12 volts, and a USB, so if I unplug it, it should go into emergency mode, let's try it out, there we go. Oh, no, so it didn't. It did for a second. So let's unscrew it. We'll see if that does anything. Let's unscrew it and screw it back in. No, it doesn't go into emergency mode. However, if I unplug it from the power point, and there is always some sort of a resistance in your grid uh, when you... So flicking the switch would be connecting the bulb to your grid. And if there is any resistance there, there we go, it glows. All I'm doing is shorting positive and negative. The funny thing, I can do that with my finger and it still works. And my finger's resistance, you know, very, very high. So that's how it will still work with the power out. Now, let me show you another trick that I've discovered, which was fun. Uh, you know those videos with the free energy or how the people can light up the bulbs in their hands? Well, I can do that too. I can simply grab this by the socket and touch it with my finger and it lights up. There we go. Different brightness. So it simply measures the resistance. When you have your f a switch open, it uh, will disconnect it from the rest of your house and the bulb will be off. But as soon as you flick it on, even though there is no power, it'll still find some sort of a resistance through your power points or any other appliance that plugged in and it will turn it on. So let's have a look what's inside of it. I'm gonna, uh, this is plastic, so ooh, it's popping from here. I was gonna remove the top. Probably need some help. Uh, where is my pry tool? There we go. Oh, there we go. So we can see lots of LEDs here. I will zoom that in for you so you can see up close. We can see lots of LEDs, but they're not all used. Some of them are used for 240, and some of them are used for the... You can see those are not lit, and if I do that again, that just reduces brightness. But if I plug it to 240, which I will do right now... And plug that back in. you can see that the different set is used or not, hang on I'm a little confused now interesting okay um, 
let's try chanting them again. I'm not sure why those three are not lighting up. Huh. Well, I guess we'll have to open it further. Where is my screwdriver? I'm assuming those contacts are the battery. Let's try unplugging this. Yes, that would be the battery. And see if that can be easily lifted off. No, maybe that can be removed. Oh yeah, that pops off. So yeah, that is the battery. And it's a standard lithium battery that is stuck in the socket there, probably glued in. So yeah, just glued, with, glued in with a double-sided tape in the bottom. Standard 18650, 1500 milliamps, 3.7 volts. It is a lithium battery. So let's get that out of here. So that can be upgraded all obviously to a higher uh, current. There's a capacitor poking through. Let's see what happens if I screw it in and turn it on without the battery. All right, here we go. Well, now all the LEDs are lit. So I think when the battery is fully charged, that's when it lights up all the LEDs. That's the secret. And I don't know if you can see, but some of them are dimmer than the others. So the dimmer ones are the ones that used in the emergency and the brighter ones are 240. So I'm guessing what happens is uh, it is charging the battery. And when the battery is fully charged, it is then switching to a uh, full power. Very interesting bulb. Uh, the ICs on it. QW2889F. Let's have a look what it is. I have found the data sheet and it is literally a textbook from this bulb. So if we look at it, we've got the mains coming in, we've got the bridge rectifier, uh, we've got the driver I see, which is actually not on here. That's probably the voltage dropper by the look of it, a current regulator. I can see the current regulator. Uh, they're using a capacitor dropper on uh, here, on that. So we can see the main resistor coming in and then a capacitor. So they're not using that current dropper, they're using a capacitor dropper. Then we've got the inductor going through. So uh, just to show you, that's that resistor capacitor dropper. Uh, then we've got bridge rectifier inductor. Uh, then uh, we have that specialized IC which is designed for the UPS light. So we see LEDs going uh, as a main light and a backup. So that will charge your lithium battery and discharge it. Yeah, that's... And that's another mains input directly in. So I guess they rectified it through a second bridge rectifier textbook. But very cool and especially for what dollar fifty Australian each or one American dollar for each. One of those bulbs is just worth it just to get a lithium batteries and you still can use it as a light bulb. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, if you'd like to support us, we've got Patreon at Max Electronics. My name is Max. I will see you next time. Bye.